I just want to say, as you guys know, in the past we've had building issues, and you know this is a big hullabaloo blue about the building conditions. But I do want to go on record, and a lot of people are not going to believe I'm doing this, but if something is being done correctly, we need to get credit where credit is due. I will have to say that Dr. Vitti is being a stand-up person right now. It's been a long time since we had that. Under those emergency managers, and what people don't understand is they've been patching this roof up for since 2011. When he found out that there was possibly the issue of mold, he didn't run away from it. He came out. Now, I, I will say that I think the communication to the parents could have been a little better and a little sooner. So if you find this out when somebody mentions it to you Thursday, probably immediately on Friday, something should go out to the parents. He's not hiding the fact that there may possibly be mold, and we know other people would have never said the word mold. So I think as far as the district goes, we're moving forward in a new direction because it's been a long time since the district has taken responsibility so for what has happened in Detroit Public Schools, community district. So I just want to say to the parents, I think I know they're upset. We deserve better, but I think we're starting to get better. Because what they could do is just kind of say, well, it's just a water issue on the other side, and we're just going to move everybody on this side. Instead of closing the building and doing the right thing and looking after the health of our children. Now, I've said it before, our children are our most precious jewel. And I think finally, finally, somebody is putting their money where the mouth is. Putting their mouth where the, you know, putting the, money where the mouth is. So I just think he's doing the right thing. But is it good enough to be reactionary and not proactive in something like this? I think we need this? to be proactive because just like he said, we have other buildings that still have building conditions that are not acceptable. They're supposed to be doing a building analysis of all of the buildings. We're going to ask for that analysis, but I, 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 there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to share it. But I commend our staff for staying here. I commend our parents for coming to this meeting to find out exactly what's going on. And for everybody, just putting children first. Nobody's being selfish about this. We know what's important is the children and their education. So I just want to say I just really appreciate him being honest and being out there. Um, they talked about if there's an issue, any health problems, then we're going to address it, including the staff. So I know there's going to be some legal issues if it comes back that there's mold in here and if it's black mold, there's going to be some legal issues, but he's not running away from that. And that's been a long time coming. And you know, for me to be standing up here as a union person saying that, but let's call a spade a spade. So finally, and I hope he continues to be honest about the, you know, the conditions of our school and what's going on. So I, I just definitely had to say that. Yeah, and Ivy, just maybe a couple of years ago, many of your members held walkouts. Right, and that's what school. I'm saying. And and so and and then. Dr. Vitti mentioned it, he, said, he called it immoral, the way the buildings had been allowed you. To, to deteriorate. Where do you place the blame at this point? I'm going to tell you, I place the blame on the emergency management system. I place the blame on the state. Who put emergency managers in here? And I've said it before, if I was a teacher, as a teacher, when I came to work and I did not do my job because there's some accountability, I got fired. These emergency managers came here one after another. Now, they were supposed to come in in the beginning and address our money situation. Every time one of them left, our deficit was larger. But did they get fired? No. They got paid more money, and then they left, and they sent another one in. What about repairs to the buildings? Did any repairs? No, the there were no repairs to the building because the plan was not for us to be here. The plan was for Detroit Public Schools to be decimated, for it to be all chartered. I mean, let's just call it what it is. You know, and a lot of things happen, but hindsight is 50-50. But we're here now. It looks like we're moving forward in a positive direction. And like I tell teachers all the time, it's not over. There's still a lot of people out there that want Detroit Public Schools to be gone. But we finally have somebody who cares about children, somebody who understands education, and somebody who, right now, I feel like teachers are being respected. He heard what they said. He didn't ignore the fact that they said mold. So they said mold, he's using the word mold. Well, the principal also used the word mold. Right, thank you. But sometimes, now you know in the past, because of legal situations and ramifications, people will not use that word because they don't want to be held accountable. So they're not running away from it. And I, I, I appreciate that. Respect our teachers, the job that they're doing every day.
That's all we ask, to be respected as a profession and to treat us like human beings. That's all. May I quickly ask that, because I know that you were standing over there, you were hearing the interview of, yeah. of, the, of the grandmother that's clearly mm -hmm. frustrated. Yes, definitely. Uh, that's, uh, is her frustration misplaced? You know, it's been so long that we've all been distrustful of the district because we've kind of had this abusive relationship going on. And I just, I understand our frustration, but I think if nothing else, another parent in there said, look, I can't hold you accountable for what happened before you got here. What he said is that he found out in May about conditions and they came in here. But what he found out was what was given on the report. And I'm gonna tell you back when we um, were out, um, you know, doing the walkouts and things like that, all of these buildings were supposed to have been inspected. Some of the buildings I walked, I didn't walk this building, but we were told that the buildings were safe. Well, obviously, I need to go back and walk with somebody through all of the buildings to make sure they are safe. Because what's happening over here probably really shouldn't be happening. 